Okay, so now let's install a Bitcoin client. In this case, let's try Electrum. So what Electrum is, is just a Bitcoin client, which a Bitcoin client is basically just a software that permits you to interact with the blockchain, send and receive funds basically, uh, and basically stores your private key. So in this situation, Electrum is one of the oldest clients for Bitcoin. I think it's been there for since 2011. Uh, let's just read a bit on it what they say on their website it's safe so your private keys are encrypted and never leave your computer nice so they don't store your keys on a database or anything like that because that's risky forgiving your funds can be recovered from a secret phrase yes so they give you a seed they give you 12 words which a bunch of them do that and these words are your seed so if your computer crashes if your house burns and you lose this machine that has your private key on it well you can use this uh, root or this, I guess, the seed, uh, root, the seed, these 12 words to regenerate the same private and public key combination on another computer, on another client, right? Because basically, if you have these, you can use them as the seed to generate those same keys. You remember the other website we've used where we created a, uh, a paper wallet and we had to move the mouse around, which made it random. This was the seed that they used to create to create those keys. Now, since there's, it's literally impossible for two people to have the same randomness done, it's impossible that two people are gonna have the same keys. But in this situation, they're giving us these 12 words. If we reuse the same 12 words, we're gonna get the same keys. So you can find it again. Obviously those 12 words you have to keep safe because they are as important as your private key in a way. Uh, Electrum is fast, okay, that's great. No lock-in, you can export your private keys and use them in other Bitcoin clients. Amazing, so if you don't like this client, you can export your key, use it elsewhere. They have a bunch of other stuff. So let's just download. So I'm using a Windows, so Windows installer. And here we go. So this is one of many Bitcoin clients. Uh, it's good for Bitcoin. We're gonna use some for other coins after. Okay, so I have my McAfee antivirus scanning it. Uh, you have to have an antivirus on your machine and you have to make sure that you're not going on sketchy websites on the machine that you're using to do these transactions, right? You want to be on the safe side. Okay, so installation complete. I uh, should take a moment here. Let's see. Okay, so I have the Electrum uh, right here. And so the first time you open it, it's probably going to ask you a few questions to either import uh, a wallet that you already have or for it to generate a wallet for you. So here, Electrum. This file does not exist. Press next to create this wallet. Okay, so let's create a wallet. Let's give it a name, uh, Crypto Investment Course. Next, is it a standard wallet? A wallet with two-factor, multi-sig, import Bitcoin address. Okay, so do I wanna import the other addresses that, that we've already created? No, let me create a new one. I wanna create a new one. Okay. Create a new seed. Do you already have a seed? Do you already have a hardware device? No, let's create a new seed. Okay, let's just go basic. Okay, do you want a standard wallet or a SegWit wallet? We already talked about SegWit very quickly. Segregated witness, which basically splits the the blockchain uh, or the blocks in, in, in two pieces where the signatures are in a different place and that permits you to have faster transactions. So to be able to use SegWit, not all the clients permit it, so they don't all uh, use it. Let's, for us, uh, uh, enable it in this client, so why not? You know, it doesn't really, it's not gonna change anything uh, that much for us. So it tells you here, your wallet generation seed is, and gives you 12 words. Please save these 12 words on paper. Order is important, so you have to have the same order. The seed will, will allow you to recover your wallet in case of computer failure. Warning, never disclose your seed, never type it in a website, do not store it electronically, right? So this you should write down on a piece of paper and go hide that piece of paper somewhere. Now for our purpose, uh, we're just gonna go on, uh, let's see, where did we put this here? In our text file and I'm gonna store them because we're gonna use it, but these I'm deleting at the end of this course. You should never uh, uh, do this unless you're saving it on a text file that's in a uh, you know USB key that you're 
that you're not connecting anywhere else and you're saving just for this purpose and you're putting in a safe location. Okay, so Electrum, uh, these are the words I can, oops, no. So let's see, can I, here, here, we can copy it. So I have them here. Now, if I go on the next, it tells me confirm the seat, put them back in because they wanna make sure that I remember them, right? I can't paste here. If I try to paste, it's not gonna work. They want you to make sure that, they wanna make sure that you wrote them down. So they ask you to type them back in. So they're certain that you remember before actually creating uh, your key. So correct, Buffalo, post, waste, grain, and unlock, right? I go next. Okay, it tells me create a password. Let's just create a random password here. Uh, let's say crypto course uh, 99. Okay, this will be my password. Nice, next, and voila. So now I have my uh, client, which basically permits me to send coins. If I click on the send, I can put in the address of somebody I want to send funds to. I can put a little note. I can actually decide how much fees I want to associate with this transaction. And you see, if I increase the fees, let's say the maximum fees, it tells me that, uh, well, let's say I leave it at the mid amount of fees, the, the, the average fees. It tells me my target will be within five blocks. That's how fast I'll, I'm going to get into a block. Now, if I pay the most amount of fees, it tells me target in the next block. So if I pay a lot of fees, my transaction is going to go through quickly. It's going to get on the next block right away because miners are going to prefer my transaction over other transactions that don't pay as much. If I pay less fees, I'm going to be there within two blocks. If I pay the lowest amount, I'll be there within 25 blocks. That's a long time. So let's just leave it at that. It's 1.2 Satoshis. It's not a lot. So we'll get into that later. Also, if I want to receive funds, this is my public key. I can give that to anybody, right? Uh, and yeah, that's it. So I have my client here and the next classes later on and the next lectures, we're going to be using them to send money around from here to there.